how about this guy? Let's say you're shooting a slot canyon and this guy walks in. <laughs> you know what? You don't do a darn thing because that's funny. You leave him right there. Flower fields. Now we're talking. Now we've got people who we do not want to be in there. A couple ways to do this. We can do this in Lightroom. Let's zoom in on these people. Now to do this in Lightroom, you go into your healing menu here and click on healing and you have these tools. In Lightroom, I don't even use these ones because I just haven't had great luck with them. They'll probably improve over time, but for now, I try the Content Aware Remove tool, and if that doesn't work, then I take it into Photoshop. So we make sure that that is selected. You can adjust the size of your brush as necessary. Opacity, I'll leave that all the way up. Now, what we would do is simply click and outline the person that we want removed and then let Lightroom do the rest. See, and in this case, it didn't do such a great job because it, yeah, it took her out, but it didn't replace her with the blooms in the background. It kind of used the mountain area in the back. So that's an indication that this may not be a good fit for Lightroom. So if we just clicked undo on that, and then we'll bring it into Photoshop. And to do that, we simply hover over the picture, we right click, and we say edit in Photoshop. So with our photo open in Photoshop, we again will select the magnifying glass and we'll just zoom in on these groups of people that we want to remove. And in Photoshop here, we have, it's a very similar tool, but sometimes it just works better in Photoshop. I'm sure that will be addressed and fixed since Adobe has both Photoshop and Lightroom and the tools are very similar. So in this case for now, we're gonna click the remove tool. You might need to select, it may not be, it might be, you know, it might have one of these automatically selected. So just go in there and select the remove tool. Now this is an AI powered remove tool. And so again, we do the same thing. We just click and trace the area that we would like removed and replaced, and then let Photoshop give it a shot and see how it does. Much, much better this time much much better this time and so let's say let's say it didn't work and we needed to try a different way we can also go in to this clone stamp tool and again you might need to click to make sure that you have the correct tool selected but select the clone stamp and then you can select the size you can either do your your bracket to go bigger and smaller or you can go up to the top here and use your slider bar to select how big or small you want that. And then when you do that, you also have this hardness menu. When you bring that all the way to the top, it'll almost create like a perfect circle with a hard edge, or you can bring that down and it has more of a, a soft edge, so it's less visible that you've made some changes. So in this case, if we said that we were gonna be about, probably make our tool about that size or so, and then using this tool, we need to select the part of the background that we want to replace this person with. And so we would just move over to the side, hold down the option key and hit the mouse button and click. So then we've selected this area and then we can just move that over here and start to replace. And then we just click, 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 or you can even click and drag. Watch this little plus sign because that's the area of the picture that it's using to replace. So wherever that little plus is, is the area that will be duplicated and be replaced. And if we go down into the flowers, again, option and click, and then just click. You can click multiple times to, to make your circle bigger and it'll slowly but surely remove that person. And then we'll do this last one over here and click and that person is gone. We might want to fine tune this little spot right here, something like that. Something to watch out for as you're doing this is that it does make an exact clone stamp of that area. And so if you're not careful, you'll start to get repeating patterns of that fixed area. And that can be a really clear indication that you've gone in there and removed something. In this case, that's really not a problem. You can see here that we have this and this. I'll use my arrow tool here. We have this area and this area that are exactly the same. But when we're pulled right out of here, it doesn't matter. We can't see that. Uh, but something to look out for. So this little group, we're going to do the exact same thing. We might try first to do the remove tool and just go around this whole group of people here 
and see if Photoshop can remove all of them just in one little click. Look at that, perfect, just perfect. And so just like that, we've got a picture that had some people in it that we didn't want to an image with no people at all. Then we could pull back into, into Lightroom and continue to edit. And to do that, we would just close it in Photoshop, click Save, and it'll bring it back into Lightroom. And then we can edit it there. So then we have our two images in Lightroom. We have the before with the people in it and the after with no people in it, pretty quick. So let's look at another example. Uh, this photograph, say we didn't want this group of people in the lawn down here. We could go into healing, make sure we have content aware remove tools selected, might increase the size with our bracket, and then highlight over, maybe try one person at a time and see what it does. It did okay. I'm gonna try it here. Obviously the smaller and more in the background the person is, the more accurate it's gonna be. If you have a big person in the foreground, it's gonna be much more difficult to remove. But if we do this here in Lightroom, I did a pretty decent job. We could always take that into Photoshop and clean it up a little bit, but for you know these demonstration purposes, it's done a pretty nice job. And guess what? It works on cows and horses too. Let's say we have this image and maybe we only want that horse in there. We just want all these other little guys out of there. In Lightroom, we do the same thing. Let's go into our content remove tool, draw a nice little outline of that cow and see if Lightroom removes it. Spectacular job. We'll click over here. We'll click over here on this guy. Pretty good. And then we just continue to do that. So we can see in this case, it's making it super easy to really clean this image up. So we're only focused on the horse. Even those ones up on the horizon, it's doing a nice job of removing. Simple, and that's look how that cleaned it up. It just, uh, now we only have the one focus and then the nice green hills, pretty cool. Let's look at one more example. This one's a little bit tricky because the people are really like ingrained with the rocks and it's really hard to separate them with our eyes even. And so to go in there and remove people can be a little difficult. So maybe we don't remove them at all and we just bring the shadows down, camouflage them. That's a way to do it. I don't think Lightroom would do a good job removing these with the content aware remove tool. We'd probably wanna pull that into Photoshop and use those tools. So let's just play with it for a second. And let's see, we zoom into an area where we wanna remove some people, select our remove tool, paint around the person that we want gone. Perfect. And let's remove this person here. Perfect. And we'll just continue to do that. People in the background are pretty simple to make go away. Those foreground people might be a little bit more of a challenge. Yeah, see, this is where it'll get a little, a little wonky. Um, we could remove these folks. Cool, really nice job there. So let's just keep it going. This is where the, the larger people in the foreground start to be a little bit trickier, but sometimes Photoshop just nails it. It's a pretty cool tool. Really, really good. Really good. I mean, that's better than I've seen it do even in the recent past. So uh, certainly no complaints about that. And look at this. Look at that, we went from all of those people cluttering this scene to a perfectly clean scene with no people in it. Great job, great job, Photoshop. So let's click save, that'll open it back up in Lightroom and then we can continue to process however we would like. So quick, easy, simple ways to remove unwanted people from your images in Lightroom and Photoshop. Give it a try, have some fun, and we will see you next time. Thank you for being here.